Feel the music. Let it soothe you. Transform your mind. Take you to another world, perhaps? That's where I enjoy myself and everything out there is so correct. I love to play the xylophone. It helps me to, to set my mind free. It keeps me peaceful and calm at times when I'm angry. The value of using music as therapy has been widely researched and proven. And it is this fact that organizers of the National Youth Orchestra of Jamaica are using as the basis to drive its operations. Modeled off a similar orchestral program, Venezuela's El Sistema, the NYOJ seeks to use music to impact the lives of youth from inner city communities. We're hoping to, to prevent crime through teaching, you know, adjusting, giving these students an option other than, you know, getting in trouble after school. The program allows young persons aged 10 to 18 years to learn how to play a musical instrument. For the most part, students practice individually based on their instrument, but combined for choir and orchestral rehearsals. I'm hoping to have more refined kids. Um, kids who will help each other and instead of fighting each other. Um, I'm hoping that the parents will also come together and unite um, so that they can help us with the kids and help their kids to have a new future in music. Primarily funded by the Organization of American States, the OAS, with the help of other partners, the NYOJ so far generates further income through concerts put on by the organizers. The OAS is, is, is committed to, to three year, two or three years that they will pay half the salaries and after that it's totally the NYOJ that has to pay all the salaries. Classes for interested students began in January 2010 at the St. Andrew Technical High School. Currently about 50 youngsters are taking advantage of the tutelage. They are mainly from the host school, with others traveling from the St. Andrew, Denham Town and Greenwich Primary Schools, as well as Denham Town and Tivoli Gardens High. But just about any young person is welcome to join. It's absolutely free to them, they just show up. We do pay the bus fare to the students who are from other schools so they can arrive here and, and go back home. Classes are held Mondays to Fridays, 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. While the primary goal is to promote positive behavior patterns, there is so much more in store if students really apply themselves. It does help you to balance both sides of your brain so you will learn better um, in terms of math and English. It gives them a chance to learn a trade. That becomes as well an uh, uh, opportunity for you to work. And more in these countries of the Caribbean where there's a huge tourism um, market, uh, people can get to, to have uh, musical uh, groups and then offer their services to this, to this area. The organizers of the orchestra are hoping to broaden its scope and share its fruits across the island. You too can get involved and contribute. We're hoping to start at other centers and then um, Hopefully we have teachers coming up that can go into, you know, other cities in the, in the island. Mandeville, Port Antonio, Montego Bay. But we need to get instructors to be able to do that and, and funding to be able to do that. We are planning to uh, incorporate sort of social intervention with a psychologist teaching us and then, you know, helping us to, to deal with the students as they have trouble. Great, because um, this is an opportunity that you know, the street, um, kids don't really get very often. Because if they have to do this on their own, they have to pay a lot of money. So to be able to pay it free, it's great. has been a production of the Jamaica Information Service, the, the voice, voice of Jamaica.